we just make a record historic moment in July with a negative inventory for the first time I can ever remember in real estate? Well, that's what we're going to go over today. We're also going to go over some where we are trending. We're going to get uh, some comments from a couple of the people who actually know more uh, about economics than myself. I know that's hard to believe, but hang on. We're going to go through the metrics. We'll go through everything and what to expect and some mortgage trends. With that, my name is George Moorhead with Benchley Properties, and I've been practicing for about 27 years. Our goal is to lead with generosity, give you the real-time metrics that you need. So if you're interested in getting market updates in real time, make sure you subscribe, share this video with your friends. And if you know if somebody's looking at buying or selling, hey, this is great information. There's no strings attached. Make sure that they get this because that's what good friends do. They make sure that we take care of each other, which brings me to another point. I've got a couple of shout outs. The first one is for Stephanie Cohen at First American Title in Escrow. I have to tell you, that girl is amazing. All right. So first, along with our traditional, hey, we put them on the market at homes, we put homes on the market, we sell them. We also do a number of off-market sales, which the technicality is that those turn into what we call almost a simultaneous closing. It's a lot of juggling. There's a lot of things on the escrow side that need to happen. And Stephanie, she did three of them for us this last month. And I just got to say thank you. You're amazing. You're a rock star. They were flawless. Everybody loved you. What more can I say? You know, we surround ourselves with great people, just like BentleyContractors.com, 10 plus plus people, meaning on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, 10 plus plus. Go there, no strings attached. Absolutely fabulous people. Now, second shout out, absolutely amazing. We've got personal brag. My team, we had a record July. You guys, just awesome. Absolutely awesome. You guys did a great job. And, you know, we have a great, uh, great time. As Jen says, you know, we rock, <laughs> but we love to lead with generosity. So we'll go through some of the uh, client questions later, but holy smokes, did July really have a negative inventory? Well, let's take a look. So when we look at the number of actives month over month, they're still up 4.5%. New on market, we creeped up a little bit, 14.4% versus uh, last week. Pended are up 12.3% month over month. Uh, and solds, those are up 6.8%. Now, when we took a look, when we look at year over year, okay, number of homes available are down 43.3%. That number actually keeps creeping up. We were, what, end of May? Yeah, so the end of May, we were like 41, 42. We were a solid 42 through most of July. Now we're at 43. New on market are still down 11.6. Pended are only down 2.6. Interesting. And then, of course, I said we would drop into the single digits only 9.9%. Yes, 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 I know it's almost 10%. But we were at like 10.5 or 10.8, then 10.5, then 10.3. And now we're at 9.9. .9. So our inventory keeps dropping. The number of pended and sold keep climbing, which yes, and I know it's not much, but number of homes available at the end of the month of July, we had 8,348. We sold 8,450 homes for a marginal difference by a nose. We sold 98 more homes. That made a neg negative market. And if I pull my super fancy chart up here for you guys, there you go. You can see we're just, whoops, that one right there. We are just hedging out the number of available homes. Had we not seen the number of homes, new homes coming on market, we would have, without a doubt, we would have absolutely blown the market out of the water. But the nice thing is, Sellers are coming out. We're continuing to see more sellers coming out. And we are seeing a massive increase in solds and pendings. And in fact, 
when we look at this chart, this is the last 24 hours. Now understand, this is month end, right? So the solds, because everybody likes to close at month end, it is less expensive to close at month end because the interest prepaid is a lot less, right? Because you pay interest per day, per diem, anytime up to the end of the month. Well, if we close on the 31st, that is like the end of the month, which means that there's really no per diem per se. So with that, it is the least expensive time to purchase a home is at the end of the month. So as you can see, we had just in the last 24 hours, 496 in the last 24 hours, 400 went pending and only 452 came on market. Meaning in the last 24 hours, 452 sellers said, yep, I'm going on market. I'm going to sell my house. So when we look at it on our seven day, which gives you a better picture, we had 1,554 homes come on market. The key thing is we had 2,438 go pending. Oops. And then we have 1,694 that went sold. Huh. So, uh, that's a three to one ratio. Uh, we're heading the other way. So what will, what will August turn out to be? Where are we trending? Well, so let's talk a little bit about rates because rates are going to come into a big picture here. So right now, owner occupied financing is 2.75. Non-owner occupied is 3.375. Now this came from Dan Golden at Cornerstone this morning. He's giving us uh, some really good feedback. Uh, and I asked, you know, hey, uh, do you continue to see this low interest rate trend to continue? And he said, yes. I said, do you see it going down further? He said, no. I, okay, so, so now's a good time to refi. Now's a really good time to buy. And he said, yes, perfect. So the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, the, uh, anybody who doesn't know of Jerome, he's one of the, well, he's the federal uh, chairman. All right, the Fed, his comment, the Fed will continue to monitor the market, but as of now, they are not even thinking about raising rates and will keep rates low until they are confident the economy has weathered the recent events. Okay, so uh, Sam Kaler, who's uh, the chief economist at Freddie Mac, says it's Groundhog's Day in the mortgage market as rates continue to remain uh, near historic lows, driving purchase demand over 20% above a year ago. Wow, that's not unexpected to us. We're seeing this every single week. So where does this mean that we're going to continue? Are we going to continue this pattern? Well, okay, so there's still a massive pent-up demand of buyers. Sadly, there's not a pent-up demand of inventory. In fact, there's a scarcity of inventory. So yes, we are going to continue to see multiple offers. Yes, we're going to continue to see an upward trend. Now, so uh, Lawrence Jung, who is the chief economist at the National Association of Realtors, NAR, he said, personal saving rates are at the highest ever with massive deposits at banks. There'll be an unleashing of spending in the upcoming months as economies open further. Home sales have already been rising strongly and will continue to do so. The GDP, gross domestic product, uh, growth in the third quarter could be as high as 30%. All right, what does that mean? It's simple enough. As we are meeting with you know hundreds of people every single month, understand people are they're they're pu pulling back a little bit from spending on things. They're saving more because they also want the security of being able to purchase a home or move up to a home, or they're moving down to a home and moving to a different area. Had a great conversation with Stephanie yesterday as they were figuring out, okay, so, hey, as we plan with this sale, as we move over here, do we keep it? You know, do we, do we lateral into an investment? We have some great conversations that are going on, which allow people to make the best business decisions for their family. Understand, as we continue to move forward, as our, our numbers still continue to head in a path of dwindling inventory, greater demand for uh, for for a home with uh, with home buyers and interest rates being as low as they are, we're going to see this pattern at least until I would say mid-November. That pattern will continue. Now, the only thing that might interrupt part of this and bring a little bit more inventory back into the uh, to the buyer's options or the buyer pool 
would be the folks that decide that, you know what, I've just concluded my first six weeks of, of a forbearance and I don't see things changing and to protect my equity, hmm, I'm going to sell my home. And then I will do something different, whether it's downsize, whether it's rent, or maybe I'm moving to a different area. Whatever it is, they're going to make that decision starting, well, that thought process is gonna start happening now as they start planning for that October window or November window, depending on uh, when somebody would have started a forbearance program. Others, they're gonna say, you know what? I'm confident, I know things are gonna continue. Uh, I will be able to get you know things squared away. I'm gonna opt for my second six month forbearance window. And then I will make you know the one of three different options with the bank at the end of the day. Perfect. But potentially, we are going to see at least from now to mid-November, possibly as, uh, out to the first or second week in December, our market is going to continue to march forward. And I see that happening very clearly based on the numbers, based on where our economy is going. Even though we have seen in other states a, a pulling back because of a resurgence of COVID, I don't see that happening here necessarily because even through the April and May markets, we were still pushing forward. Here's the best part, okay? I helped to chair part of the disciplinary and arbitration panel at the Northwest MLS, okay? We've never, I have not heard of any complaints regarding agents being bad with social distancing and being safe. So again, an attaboy to all of the agents out there in the Northwest MLS, great job. Everybody is being hypersensitive and making sure that all of the buyers and sellers are safe, okay? That's awesome. What more could you ask for? A great group of people absolutely have your best interest at heart. There you go. All right, so we've gone over it. July, negative inventory. First time I know, 27 years, I don't think I've ever seen a negative inventory, which is amazing, right? August, probably gonna be the same. Eh, that's all right. So note, mortgage interest rates are gonna stay low. If you have any questions, post them up there for us. We will get to them normally within about 30 minutes. And for the others, if you have questions, if you have forbearance questions, if you need any no strings attached information, hey, reach out to us, give us a call. Marie will post that for you. Uh, Marie will post these charts so that you can see them. In the meantime, you guys have a great weekend. It's a little cloudy day, a little bit cooler, but uh, be safe out there and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.